think uh, in Europe especially it is uh, a matter of uh, facing uh, pervasive, uh, plenty of uh, almost pervasive uh, uncertainty which is uh, overshadowing uh, uh, the European economy and, and the global economy for the moment. Uh, of course, uh, and that's because of the illegal, brutal war of uh, Russia in, uh, in Ukraine. Now, uh, in Europe, uh, we are facing this uh, especially because of the sheer proximity and uh, because of the excessive uh, energy dependency on, on uh, Russian fossil uh, fuels. Uh, as far as the European economy is uh, concerned, uh, we have uh, already downgraded our growth forecasts uh, because of these uh, factors. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the European economy is uh, still growing. The recovery is on, employment is uh, improving, and uh, we are seeing that uh, uh, there is plenty of uh, fiscal and uh, monetary accommodation that is supporting the economy still. Now, we also heard from the Bank of England suggesting that essentially the UK economy should, uh, the, should see essentially a recession. Are you projecting the same for the Eurozone this year? I wouldn't uh, paint uh, such a devil uh, on the wall. I think uh, this year the Eurozone is uh, going to grow uh, in the scale of around uh, 2% uh, according to the current uh, estimates. Uh, we are taking hit uh, from uh, Russia's war in, uh, in Ukraine both through the trade channel and uh, through the energy dependency uh, channel. But at the same time, uh, uh, there is uh, strong, uh, quite strong recoveries behind this uh, from uh, the pandemic and uh, the European economy is still, still growing. And we are seeing that uh, we have challenges concerning inflation, which is uh, higher than uh, uh, forecast previously. And we have to make sure that uh, this uh, Inflation expectations will not; uh, these high inflation expectations will not become entrenched uh, in, uh, in Europe. We're seeing the Commission and the EU debating now oil sanctions against Russia. Surely, that it's going to mean that in June, when you present new economic forecasts, GDP will be even lower and inflation will be even higher for the rest of this year. It is quite likely that uh, it will affect uh, this year and, uh, and next year. On the other hand, uh, I see that uh, we have to show unity. We have to have uh, European unity. We need uh, Western unity to support uh, Ukraine and uh, do what we can to stop uh, Russian aggression and war in, in Ukraine. That's why there are more important things than, uh, than uh, uh, the economy. But of course, we have to do it uh, in a smart manner. And uh, now the European Union is uh, discussing how to finalize the decision concerning uh, phase in sanctions uh, on, uh, on oil, which would be uh, very important because for the moment uh, there is uh, still uh, the, that the European Union is still uh, uh, supporting Russian war in U Ukraine by 1 billion euros per day because of uh, dependency on Russian fossil fuels. Uh, so it's uh, high time to stop this uh, and uh, do it in a smart manner. Now, you've also been very vocal about the fact that the ECB should indeed increase interest rates in July. Do you think that we will see positive interest rates in the Eurozone this year? We have uh, conflicting pressures uh, in monetary policy. We, uh, we are almost in between a rock and a hard place. Uh, so that uh, on one hand, uh, we have to ensure that uh, the recovery will, will continue. On the other hand, uh, we have to avoid, uh, we have to prevent uh, high inflation expectations uh, being entrenched uh, and uh, being reflected in the labor market uh, and uh, wage negotiations. Uh, in other words, we have to avoid that uh, we will face uh, second round effects. Uh, so therefore, in my view, we should uh, move relatively quickly to zero and uh, continue our gradual process of uh, normalization of uh, monetary policy as we have uh, as we have done of course all this uh, on the condition that uh, russian war in uh, ukraine will not uh, substantially escalate uh, and uh, intensify which could could derail all the forecasts and uh, and uh, uh, the economic uh, recovery then we would have other even bigger problems uh, in uh, in europe and in the world